Hi, welcome to WSO2 Identity Finance Zero product release screencast. I am Janak Amrasen from the WSO2 Identity and Access Management team and I will walk you through the latest release of the WSO2 Identity Server. This time around, we have a bunch of new features, new addition to some of our existing features, performance improvements and bug fixes. Let's look at what's new. We have introduced a set of new REST APIs for user self-services. These APIs can be leveraged to give account management capabilities to authenticated users for activities such as session management, associating user accounts, managing their security questions and answers, and more. Normally, we can do single sign-on across multiple protocols such as SAML and OIDC. But when it comes to logout, it's only supporting single logout within the same protocol. But now, with the WSO2 Identity Server Finance Zero, you can perform single logout across different protocols. For example, suppose that you have logged into two applications that use two different authentication protocols, say SAML and OIDC, from the same browser using SSO. With cross-protocol single logout, when you log out from one of these two applications, you will be automatically logged out from the other application despite the protocol difference. With the WSO2 Identity Server Finance Zero release, we have introduced a simpler configuration model. Now you only need to make the necessary changes in one file and it will automatically add the necessary configurations to the relevant files. But if you do prefer the old model, you can still keep using that too. We have added an extension point to provide the capability of sub-theming the mostly used pages in the WSO2 Identity Server, such as the sign-in page, sign-up page, recovery, and so on. Now you can easily theme and rebrand these pages without a need to replace or modify the existing pages. Also in this release, we have introduced a set of new additions to our existing features. Let's check them out. For session management, we have added the capability to monitor and terminate a user's session from within the identity server. If you are using adaptive authentication extensively, now you don't have to copy paste functions. You can now write your functions and store them in the function library and reuse these functions across service providers. In Office 365 Federation, we have introduced federating from multiple HAD Office 365 domains to a single tenant in the Identity Server. Download the WS2 Identity Server Finance Zero and play around with it. Make sure to check out the documentation to find out more about the new features. If you come across any issues, you can report them in the product GitHub repo. If you have any questions, you can ask them in the Stack Overflow and tag it with WS2 IS. And also, you can reach out to us via our mailing list. Thank you for watching.